Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an issue where it says that the publisher cannot be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? So in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. So assuming that you're running a Windows 8 edition computer or Windows 10 professional enterprise or so forth, this tutorial will apply for you. However, if you're running Windows 10 Home Edition, you're not going to have access to the local group policy editor in which we're going through in this tutorial. So unfortunately, this tutorial will not apply for you. However, there are alternative fixes available. But in this tutorial, I'm focusing on the quick and easy solution. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And then once you open up the Start menu and you want to type in Group, and you want to type in GP edit and now the start menu is open you want to type in group and the best metric comes up should say edit group policy right above control panel you want to left click on that one time to open it up So now you want to double click on the user configuration area that comes up right when you go under local security policy, the first page. You want to double click on user configuration right here. And now you want to do the exact same thing that we just did for administrative templates. Now you want to do that for Windows components. Now you want to do the exact same thing again for attach and manager. And now there should be something on this list that says inclusion list for moderate risk file types. Should be the last item on this list, so double click on it. Now you want to click on the enabled button right here. So select enabled. And then underneath specify moderate risk extensions, you want to type .exe in here. So again, .exe. Select enabled. Then click on apply and OK. And please keep in mind, if you're experiencing this problem with a specific file, just let it run that time. And then I wouldn't mind recommending turning this back to not configured at a later time. But this is just if you're having an issue with a specific kind of file and it just is really becoming a nuisance. This tutorial should hopefully address that problem. And I just want to put that out there. So you can play around with this a little bit. I would definitely keep high risk files enabled as well. And maybe you even want to turn the low risk file types to enable and disable or not configure the moderate risk. Just play around this a little bit, but I would recommend that you create a backup of your computer, even though this isn't really a problem. And I'd also recommend that you just take note that they're all set to not configured. So at a later time, if you wanted to set them back to not configured, it's very easy to do. It shouldn't be that big of a hassle. And as long as you have a good security, you have user account control enabled, you have an antivirus and you're using a good web browser that includes web filtering and whatnot, you should be good to go and there shouldn't really be any problems resulting from this because a lot of the publisher couldn't be verified alerts are just kind of bogus especially considering smart screen filters should pick up on them to begin with so it's a little bit redundant to be honest but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.